Mind Palace technique. I can't help but smile when I talk about the Mind Palace because it's my favorite memory technique. The Mind Palace is essentially this. If you want to remember anything, what you do is you memorize a map of your house. You're imagining you're walking through your house. You walk into your house and there's a table right there. And then there's a couch and then there's a chair and then there's a window. And you memorize these and number them, maybe number 20 spots. Then you get a list of information you want to memorize. You take the first thing you want to memorize. Let's just say it's a random list. Number one's a dog. You visualize a dog on the first piece of furniture. Number two is a glass of water. Well, your second piece of furniture was a couch. Maybe you imagine you're pouring water all over that couch. That concept is known as the mind palace. And I see students use it all the time. They want to remember the periodic table of elements. Hydrogen is number one. So they see somebody waving high on that number one piece of furniture. Helium is number two. So they imagine helium blooms tied to their number two piece of furniture. Here's the great thing about your brain. If you can take what you want to remember and turn it into a picture and then tie it to a physical location, a location that you can see, you could memorize 7,000 pieces of information that way. It's, it's freakishly cool.